Welcome back, guys. So as you see, we're starting some more different. I took a little moment just to test out a macro to see if I could make grinding a little bit faster. I think I got it. So that's why there's a couple battles I did. Not too many, just like two. But anyway, now that I did that, let's test it out. Uh, did I have the silver? No, I do not. I want to get the silver harp real quick. There we go. Hmm. This doesn't help when I'm getting attacked first, but whatever. Yeah, I just have my... I have Scarcy just attacking the first enemy in battle, and then, uh... Of course, Pierre is using the Thor sword. Last time, all we did was grind. This time, we're basically going to do more grinding. We need it, believe me. If I can get one more... Marine slime shell, I think uh, we should be good. Because then I could just kind of have Pierre heal spam as needed. But yeah, I have Scarcy using the green hand whip, so it's just faster for group attacking and all that. I mean, technically, if we want to just kill one at a time. My Falcon Sword's still better, but the whip still does good. It, uh, the whip is better for general killing, <laughs> or rather, grinding killing. Eh, Medical Herb. Jeez, they love to suddenly attack. But yeah, so, I don't, if you don't want to watch the grind, I kind of get it, though. It's not the most exciting thing. Eventually, I'm going to do more, though. But for now, we gotta focus on what we need. We need experience, which the ocean battles do a decent job at. They're not great, but it's okay. And... We also need uh, Pierre to have better healing. I also have still have my run macro too, so we might do, do some medals if we need to as well. I kind of wish that the Golden Claw worked on the ocean now though, but based on what I saw when I tried running from <laughs> sea creatures in battle, I probably would have the same issue where we'd just be stuck in the void. I kind of glossed over it when it happened last time, but in order to get out of the void, you either just restart the game or you just use a Wing of Avern or some return spell to get out of there. Ugh. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of strength, but my agility, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, because it minus is one agility from each. The per new personality I got minus is one agility each game from levels it take it takes away one and instead what i really also need is to stop being a rogue and get to the next job but unfortunately i still got a lot to go so this is where also the grinding helps a lot too it just helps to kind of kill everything actually i'm going to take a look and see how much left I have. Let's see. Class experience. No, I still got plenty. Like 600. So, yeah, we need so much grinding right now. Alright, first things first, though. Let's heal. Yeah, macros make everything easier. <laughs> Looks like I did the general battle grinding macro pretty well. This would not work when I'm in the du main du harder dungeons. This is just for general grinding stuff. But the idea is just to make this a little bit more, a little easier at least. So I do wish there was a little bit more story left in this game. There really isn't until we 
uh, beat the game, so to speak. And then after that, we just get like some very basic villain dialogue in the bonus dungeon. The bonus dungeon I'm now looking forward to. I might actually go on a different save file and remap out the area because it is so confusing. No. There we go. I will say the Thor sword does feel like a little too powerful. It doesn't need to be that strong. If it did, eh. Actually, I guess it's okay, because you can learn better spells, but it makes the spells Pierre can learn not as good. I mean, except if I gave him the blaze spell, because that could actually go up, get, get, become a flare, and that's a very good spell, as we see when it gets used against us. 120 something damage <laughs> guaranteed good on enemies with luck very good defense hmm. Maybe in the next run I'll do a ma if I do another run of this I should say it I'll be a mage, but eh, I don't know There's so much grinding in here that I, I'd want to take a break from this for a while Still, this satisfied my grinding itch a little bit, so... And I've had one for a while. There's something sat really just satisfying, just about getting the levels, upgrading your class, uh, finding different ways to make the game easier. Or trying to survive it. <laughs> That's why I do, event I think eventually I'd rather show off the goof off because it's so unique. But that'll be after I do a different game. Nope, come on. All right, now we're just gonna try going some in a different part of the ocean, see if that helps at all. Oh, am I stuck in the lake here? That'd be interesting. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it matters whether or not you. Where you're part in what part of the ocean you are to get certain monsters to show up. It really is just completely random. The creator wasn't that smart when it came to doing in random encounters and such. On the plus side, my air condition it, it has been fixed, so now I won't be sweltering in my seat as I do these. <laughs> Though I actually can't wait to do the next game I'm thinking of. That's going to be so much fun and a little bit more live action-y. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be playing some Death Road to Canada because it's like Oregon Trail. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't, and you want to see how many times you can make it with different types of setups. I mean, I'm just amazed that on my first time making it to Canada, I had a full team. That's just... <laughs> wow. We just we just had a really good team, and Paranoid was... Using the Paranoid uh, personality was just too good. And I accidentally didn't use my macro there, so I had to do it myself. Ah, there we go. And that's the way to get out of the little lake there. <laughs> really? Oh, they were caught off guard, that's why. <laughs> I was expecting more action to happen.
Man, we need more more random encounters where there's a lot of marine slimes. Come on, game. I know there's a couple, but I just keep getting way too many run of my calbacores. Oops. I wonder if it would help if I had Skelly with me. I mean, Skelly can also use the Thor sword. But I'd rather keep Pierre getting more levels. It's good for him. Plus, if Pierre gets... I mean, uh, if uh, Skelly was to be... Whoopsie. Focused on, I'm pretty sure he'd die. Eh, you know what? After this battle, let's try it for shits and giggles. I mean, Skelly can still heal. He just doesn't have much MP, though. That's the other issue with Skelly, unfortunately. Oh, wait. I can't do it while I'm in a boat. Let's just find some random land and then do it then. I mean, Skelly was helping so much when it came to finding other items, so couldn't hurt. I mean, I think I can find it decently right now as Scarcy, so, I mean, as a rogue right now. I don't know if combining him and me just make it better, but it doesn't hurt. So you just see. I mean, I came to a bunch of different weird conclusions throughout this game, so it seemed definitely like Skelly helped. Alright. Pierre, take a quick break. Oh, wait. Not yet. Let me take your Thor sword. I don't think Skelly is going to be able to do much. Yeah, I doubt he'll be able to do too much, but we'll find out. Yeah, his... Thor sword used is slightly weaker, but hmm. Anyway, let's find out how it will work out. And j okay, come on, stop lagging menus. All right, you got okay speed, Skelly. Only thing is, again, no heal all. If I were to have been a little bit luckier with getting more uh, marine slime shells, I would say, oh, I'd just use one on him so that way he gets heal all eventually. But yeah, because he has less intelligence than uh, Pierre does, his. His use of the Thor sword is going to be weaker. It's kind of amazing that you can actually influence that sort of thing, but... Mm. Another thing that's kind of like one of those... Small little... Small little, like, pleasant surprises in this game. Because you would think, like, nah, you, you shouldn't be able to influence that. Because then, usually, the, the Dragon Quest games don't have that. They're just set damage items. Either way, I know this is taking a little bit longer, though, with him, because he doesn't heal very well. Would it be beneficial to have him at, on the Sage Stone, maybe? No, not really. Maybe a me on Sage Stone? No. With the way they're attacking him, it wouldn't work.
Yeah, we can get them killed, but he's getting, like, murdered as it is. Well, I'm just going to use up some of the healing waters we got stuck in here. Did we get them all? Oh, yes, we did. Yeah, I think it's going to take longer than it's going to help. I do think he helped a little with the drop rate, but I don't think it's influencing that much. Oh, right, you have. I forgot you had these skills. Yeah. Let's just get back to anywhere. Uh, I don't know, old hut. Thanks for trying, Skelly, but I don't think you're helping enough. Oop, almost forgot the items. But thank you for your service. It, it would help if I gave the Thor sword to Pierre. The good thing about the macro is it doesn't matter which monster is holding it as long as they hold it in their last slot. I'll probably be using Skelly for when I do me like metal grinding though, because he's got the extra... Wait, I forget if he has the double attack or not yet, but he has the extra chance of killing them with the Fire Claw. Ow. I would be using my boomerang instead of the whip if, you know, the boomerang wasn't such a finicky little thing. The whip is at least steady. Oh, stop giving me books of romance. I don't care about them. Sorry, I was just checking my stream health real quick. Now, this is what we need more of. Yeah, more like that, please. Yeah. Eh, close enough. I accept. I accept this type of battle. <laughs> Damn. I saw the treasure chest and got my hopes up. They dashed those hopes splendidly. Bravo. Ah, I don't need books of romance. I find it insulting. No, well, at least I'm getting those epic strength gains thanks to the book of Val the Valiant book, I should say. But yeah, this Thor sword makes random encounters a lot easier. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good. Oh, right. I forgot. Since I just came back, let's do the nothing. 
and then something. Okay. I don't know how much it, if it even it does help, but why not? It helps sometimes whenever things are glitching. Oh, whoops. I'm starting to have too many macros. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Or let me have the crits when I attack. Damn it. Uh, medical herb. I know I could probably do a macro for the silver heart, but because I don't feel like putting it at the top of my uh, inventory list, I would have to worry about uh, getting items in my inventory before the macro would work, so I'd rather not do that. The way I have the macro working right now for most of my stuff is just memorizing my button presses and making little delays where needed because sometimes there's menu lag. Marine Slime getting cheeky with that crit there. Yeah, the whip is better for generic generic fights like this. <laughs> I imagine the boomerang could help eventually, but yeah. Oops. If only more marine slimes could show up, maybe that's when I would actually get the damn marine slime shells. I mean, I'm getting a lot of the rare book drops, apparently. Eh, yeah, whatever. These monsters aren't super dangerous. It's just when they get an ambush and one crab is, like, uses defense right away and then they all gang up on one mon one person. That's when it's bad. And it can happen. No. Had menu lag. It's weird. I'm either catching them off guard or they're catching me off guard. At least that's how it always feels. Yeah, yeah, magic herb. Okay. You're giving me lots of random crap drops. Now try to give me one good one with this guy. Yeah. I think I just need to be able to encounter more of them. But again, on the ocean, everything seems to be equal when it where of what you're going to be encountering.
Yeah, they really don't like to... Marine slime shells don't like to... I mean, marine slimes don't even like to be joining in with us very often here. Come on. I already know I can't run away from them because of any time I... Oh, no. Yeah, even if I could run away from them, they... I just get the error. Forgot I mentioned that already. Yeah. Eventually, we should be able to get one. We got one last time. I've said it in the past, but uh, the reason I don't just grind off screen is because I'd rather show everything that happens when it comes to these type of games. I don't want to be like, oh, hey, I, I totally got this random drop, and there's like doubt in that. Like, oh, you probably just use GM controls or something, since I have very readily access to GM controls, as I've shown. I only use them for when there's like no reason not to, or just to make sure things are working correctly or general exploration but i won't use it for anything that is required of me is anything that's going to ruin the story or the challenge of the game i just more like to reduce the tedium or to get general information that you otherwise cannot get such as me finding out my how many more points I need to my job point level since I'd rather not have to keep warping to Dharma every time I want to do that. Or when we were exploring the tower, as they called it, and got all those special items. But there was zero encounters and just a really convoluted walkway. That's why I jumped over the walls with a GM ability because all I was was prolonging being able to get to them. I was able to get them to them fairly, that is true. I just didn't feel like having to go through a maze and forgetting where the hell I was every time I did it. Ah, oh, stupid banglers. Stop being banglers and start being marine slimes. There you go. That helped a little. You know, it's funny how whenever you strum the silver harp, it says, Thou strums the silver harp. You don't need to say thou there. Not the alchemy pot. Stop menu lagging. Ooh, that's better. This is worse. <laughs> yeah. 
I think Pierre is almost ready to level up again. Oh, wait, no, that's 50,000. Never mind. And I got a while to go, too. Still, that just means roughly 25 battles, give or take uh, more. Like when you get single battles like this. Oops, almost did that without healing. That would have been safe, but still. Two unlucky crits could probably do it. Would have probably done it. Ugh, run back to Albacore, you suck. I don't care about you, Banglers. Actually, yeah, I think Bangler is the most popular, mon most common monster you can get in the sea here. Which explains why we got so many goddamn romance books. Who knew, who knew though, Bangler was a uh, romantic? All right, this has been at several battles now, and there hasn't been one marine slime, uh, marine slime popping up here. Ugh, another friggin' book of romance. That's like the third one. I was moving, by the way, just to see if that helps at all. I don't think it really matters, but it feels like it matters for some reason. Eh, stupid metal for herb. I think I'll do something like after if after three battles without any marine slime, I'll just kind of move and try summoning there. Again, don't think it matters much, but eh, something to do on this at least. I do wish I could make this a little bit more interesting, but I don't know how. <laughs> Grinding is what it is. Grinding. Did 
that said, we have been getting, knock on wood here, but uh, we have been getting marine slimes in each battle, so that's pretty nice. At least it feels like there's a chance. <laughs> Even though we're mostly going to just get herbs or another goddamn romance book. Oh, sorry if you hear that. I was just kind of holding down the button. Yeah, medical herb teas. Alright, this is one battle without a marine slime. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Oh, Pierre did level up. There you go. So I still haven't jobbed up. How many, how much experience do we have until then? I mean, surely we've fought quite a few now. Oh, we have. All right, only 630 to go. <laughs> well, we're getting there. All right, that was three months, three monster battles in a row without a marine slime. Let's go around a little bit and try now. Um, I'm sure some of you wondered, just in case anyone did wonder, I should say, anyone that, uh, any monster that you teach to double attack, it only works with single hitting weapons. So for instance, if you were to say, use a whip with 
the natural double attack on the monster of your choice, it only attack once. It doesn't get a chance to double attack with the whip. That would be broken, though awesome. You also can't do that with the uh, falcon, the falcon sword, or the stiletto earrings to make a normal attacking twice to attacking four times or something. Doesn't work like that. Also, this is three in a row again, so I'm going to move my boat and hope for the best. Let's try here. Oh, there's a tip I don't think I've mentioned. Be sure to talk to everyone in town. You never know who might have an important clue to share. This is extremely true in this game. Though there are some people that don't even give any hints and you have to just kind of squander around doing like nothing really. For instance, there was no real hint to find Ramia's cave. I'm just glad that I had it in advance, put it on my guide. Even though I kind of missed it a few times. Any one of you lovely marine slimes like to drop your shell? Nope. They're all bastards. Ugh. Run amok, Albacore. We don't care about you. I mean, your name is awesome, but that's it. Of course, you dropped something. <sighs> Tease me with the magic herb again. No, no alchemy pot. Stop that. Though I do have something cooking in there already. Still with the... Uh, what is it? Some... A uh, loom and... Uh, something do or whatever. I, I don't remember. But it'll get us a special armor, so... That might be useful.
I doubt it would matter, but I'm going to thief hit it. Damn. I don't think it influenced that, but it still gave me that little bit of hope. And then dashed it away perfectly. Ugh. Alright, I'll stop making that Futurama reference. <laughs> yes, we get it, Renamuck Albacore. You're fast and you're annoying. I don't think they even give as much experience as, as the other monsters, which is kind of sad. Yeah. It's sad that I've been doing this for almost an hour. But gang levels at least and job skill points and such, so I guess it's worth it. Plus it'll also be very, very, very useful in the final dungeon. Really? I wish there was another spot for marine sl the marine slimes because the Runamuck albacore and the Kravis just drive me nuts. Especially when they pull that crap. Oh, here, have a medical herb that's gonna litter your bag or your inventory. Ugh. They shouldn't be allowed to make so many sudden attacks. <laughs> Whoops, wrong macro. Alright, that was three without a marine slime. 
I'm gonna switch, go somewhere, a different part of the ocean, I guess. Whatever. Go, 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 go. You're dead. Stop being alive. There you go. Oh, come on. Well, good job on that. You can solo them now. Pierre is getting so much stronger. Well, whenever the hits are cooperative, I should say. Damn. Stop raising my damn hopes up and just give me stuff. <laughs> Yeah, medical herb. Not that I was expecting much better, but whatever. I already know I can't steal the marine slime shell. They fixed it. Though I do remember when it when steel actually worked well, that was when like people would just stay in battle and try to steal at least once from each monster, trying to get good items and such. Uh, I actually kind of miss it, but it was extremely tedious. Especially when you had disjointed group issues. I actually don't remember it being as prevalent as it is right now. I swear it's because uh, the creator let someone else help her out with uh, with creating the game then. He was also the one that made the really awesome special boss at the monster arena. The one that only two of us were able to even beat if, and it was together with my peer my version of Pierre in that game world. <laughs> oh, magic herb. Well, I gotta level up. Oh stop giving me pop ups there, security system. I know you wanna ask me if updating stuff is okay. I don't care right now. Still 500 monsters until I get to the last job level. I mean, I don't really care too much about the skills I can get uh, when I get to my next 
job and all. Because it's really about the stats. In your final job, you get so many good stats. In almost all cases. I would like to say that, at least. <laughs> I never really took a soldier all the way, so... I don't believe they really get any good stats other than HP and decent strength. Since they rely a lot on their equipment draw. Which is why there's so many goddamn weapons dedicated to them. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to die that fast. Yeah, get rid of the run of my calbacola. That's the unfortunate thing about grinding. You're going to get a lot of monotony and not much to say. <laughs> hey, one of you marine slimes, drop your shell. Please. Then I can stop slaughtering your kind. Damn it, you tricked me. Made me think you had it. No. There we go. They're big ass teases. That's what they are. And again, it feels like a miracle every time a marine slime actually shows up, so. Mm. Give me your shell. I really wish I could steal it. I wish st stealing was worth anything other than in boss battles to get lots of money. <laughs> so actually, admittedly, that has proven useful. <laughs> Especially since now Leaf of the World Trees, I don't really need to use them anymore since I have the Staff of Life. Which, by the way, I st oh, even when when the game was like just still in testing phases, I recommended it just get turned into Vivify instead of Revive. Because that way there's at least some element of challenge in it, considering it's a free Revival item. No MP cost or anything. Though in some bonus bosses, it becomes critical that you can revive like right away. <laughs> hmm. Hello there, brave marine slime. You want to drop your shell for us, right? No, you're a little dick. Speaking of dicks, 
So you're some runner McAlbacore. Hmm, how is our attack right now? 383. At 500, I think, is when I'll probably switch personalities till I get more speed and defense in that way. <laughs> Ow! Quit it. Actually, I didn't even notice that marine slime there. <laughs> ah. For those that are have kind of like fallen asleep and wondering why I'm still fighting these dudes, I'm trying to get a marine slime shell so Pierre can learn heal us all. That way... We don't have to decide who lives and who dies. Usually Pierre dies if uh, if I have a choice in the matter. Mostly for the final dungeon. It'd be nice if one of these monsters also dropped, like, a Barchisi ticket. Or dropped something else useful. I think this is more painful than trying to fight... Grind for almost any other, uh, item drop. Since I don't have anything else to distract us with when... The grind gets boring. <laughs> Ah, damn it. Hit the wrong button. Another goddamn book of romance. I feel like the bangler's trying to, to be insulting to me every time he drops that. <laughs> Like, stop grinding on these stupid marine slimes and just go get laid or something. <laughs> stupid banglers. And marine slime, stop being so goddamn stingy. Give me that shell. I want to rip it off their fucking heads. <laughs>
At least the Thor sword is making this a lot easier. But also, at the same time, it feels like it makes it more painful. Because we go through even more fights now while still not getting hit. <laughs> I mean, I know mathematically this is better, but still... <laughs> I think what I'm going to try doing, we're going to try going to a different place now, because I need to change the scenery. And Pierre needs MP. Yeah, well, I may as well deposit some money anyway. I forgot how shitty this town is. Yeah, screw this town, I hate it. I think it's Fairforth we want. And the inn, I think, I forget which one it way it goes. It's directly to the right. Okay. Ah, jeez. Well, we'll still kill them all. Let's just bag that silver heart and make our way to the final dungeon, but we're not going to go running through it. We're going to grind in there a little just to get a certain monster drop as well, but at least it's something different. There we go. Oh, water flying clothes. They finished. Watch, I not, watch me not be able to even wear it. Yeah, I can't even wear it. It's stupid like that. But it's one of the rare equipments you can get that uh, lets you resist any damage floors, which by the time you get this, you have three armors that you could equip instead because the, the ones that this is available to can all equip the same armor for that. So <laughs> it also has the elemental property of wind, which could be good, but... Uh, you get, you're weak to the explosion spells, which is just crap, so. Yeah, if I was able to equip it, it would actually have been somewhat worth it, but, yeah. Uh. All right, uh, Pierre, what do you have? Yeah, I think I'm going to switch you to, to the fire armor. I wish I had some sort of fire armor. Let's see, fur coat. Give the Thor sword to yourself so it's at the bottom of the list again. And there we go. Oh, right. Do you have the golden claw? Yes, you do. I'll take that. There we go. This is where things are going to hurt. What we really want are the red dragons, but these guys drop okay stuff too, I think. Oops. Oh yeah, Pierre has the fire armor on. That's why he didn't resist Infermost. Yeah, I still don't like the way they did the element system. I mean, it had a good idea. 
but then they just ruin it by... They ruin it, though, by having monsters with multiple spells, with spell elements, so it's like... What's the point in bothering trying to resist it when you get weak to the other? I mean, I've said this before, but still, it just pisses me off. They could have had it so much better. Yeah, same thing. Okay. It also sucks that I only can wear ice armor. I can't wear any... Oops. I can't wear any... Uh... Fire armors. Though I, do, I can wear one special armor that I have to... Uh... I think I have to win in Parcheesi. Or maybe it's after I beat the Danton Arena. Which, by the way, I could beat after... I can probably beat Danton Arena after I get the last Marine Slime Shell I need. Because I just have Pierre Spam heal us all and we'll win. Eh. Uh, if he critted me instead, I, we would have been dead. Nice level up. I think I'm actually better off using the Falcon Sword here. Damn it. Ah, crap. I hit the wrong button. Well, I'm dead. I don't know why they're doing so much more damage to me now, though. They didn't sap my defense. Seriously, I... That doesn't make sense at all. Did I, like, lose my defense or something here? Same defense I've had before. Hmm. I actually should have more defense than that. I forget what the formula is, but like agility is supposed to denote uh, your defense, and I'm not getting it. Because after a certain amount of agility, you get like, I, I forget what it is, but like you have 261 and your defense is like way up there. Oh, wait, one way to test this out. Pierre, let's just go do, 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 do. Ginger one, do. Oh, well, actually, we can't use him as a good example because he gets some natural defense. Like all of them start with like 50 or something like that, but. 261 defense power based on the agility alone. Let's try this. I'm going to unequip everything and check my agility there. 176 agility and then 183 defense. That, that doesn't make sense. It should be even or it should be double your agility or something. I don't I don't know what the hell is going on with this game anymore. Ugh. 
Right now it's becoming a headache, so I think, you know, I might have to take a break. <laughs> I've been grinding on this way too long anyway. I'm going to do a slow crawl to the entrance, I think. Damn it. Oh, I equipped the whip again, didn't I? Yeah. Damn, 706 HP, Pierre? Wow. Get rid of the stupid medical herbs. And equip the Falcon Sword. There we go. Nope, nope, you gotta heal me. Wow, they're doing 100 damage to Pierre, and Pierre has really good defense. It's ridiculous. And this is why grinding is way over, way, way, way needed in this game. It's overly necessary, if anything, but, yeah. No, that wouldn't make sense. It's annoyingly necessary. There we go. That's why I really wanted that marine slime shell, because it's a way to get through this while still low level. So I have to grind so I don't have to grind as much. <laughs> Ugh, God, just leave me alone. Of course you suddenly attack. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, that might have killed me. And they could stop spell Pierre. That's great. I mean, at least they have the Thor sword, but still.
Oh, damn increase. Yeah, whatever. We got him anyway. We are getting a lot of experience from this, though. Oh, would you stop suddenly attacking? You're not that important. See, I like it how when they use the defense increasing spells, it affects us. But when we use it on ourselves, it barely affects their attack power at all. Oh, don't crit me like that. I don't like that. Yeah, Pierre is like our MVP here, <laughs> keeping me alive so we could stay alive in general, but yeah. All right, we're out of there. Let's get, let's give the Golden Claw back to Pierre. I didn't go that way, I swear. Put Pierre back on the road with Serenity. And let's just go back to uh, basically any town. Preferably one that's close to the shore. Is Snow Mantle? Actually, yeah, Snow Mantle is. Okay. Well, that felt like a bit of a waste of a uh, a waste of a stream here. This basically was just grinding with no success. So again, we got some job points out of it and levels, and I guess money, whatever. So it's not all bad. Still, we got more grinding to do. We gotta get that marine slime shell. I don't know how else to make it interesting though. Yeah, I'm sorry. We just got a lot more boredom to ahead of us until we get that damn marine slime shell. So, if you watch this, <laughs> thank you. If you fell asleep to this, well, I can't blame you. Either way, have a great night, guys. After I talk to this goddamn priest. <laughs>